What's up, what's up? I'm Rebuilder Guy, and on this channel, we like to rebuild things, we like to save money, but most importantly, we like to live that better lifestyle by spending as least amount of money as possible. Two years ago, I bought Big Bertha over here from the auction. It was classified as a Texas flood with a non-repairable title. It didn't really matter to me. I put it right here on the property and we were good to go. So, girl, thank you so much for your two years of service. You saved me over $40,000 in rent alone. So let's jump into the wife's rebuilt Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 and let's go check out this house that I bought and got a smoking deal on. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might An update on the wife's rebuilt Mercedes I'm actually in like autopilot mode This thing's like turning by itself Which is really weird It's pretty cool that this Tronic system really works um, We now have, let's see how many miles 11,000 I think we bought this car with like 3,000 also we caught a rock chip driving to Houston which kind of sucked all right let's go check out this house you know you bought a house in the right neighborhood when you see a whole bunch of those in the front yard and here we are boys here's the driveway these trees need a whole bunch of work but here's the house. Look at her. Oh, that's beautiful. The framer slash sheet rockers here. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him real quick. Show him around, see what needs to be done. What's up, Stan Lee, buddy? All right, let's talk about the home. It's a single story, almost 2,000 square foot home sitting on 1.25 acres of land. It was built in 1995 and the original owner didn't upgrade anything in this place. On the exterior it looks very good. As you can see the roof was recently replaced I think about five months but there are some things that they did that I didn't like that we need to address around the chimney, the flashing. Yeah there's, there's some work to do around the roof area. On the inside that is where the fun begins because like I said nothing has ever been upgraded on this thing. I ended up paying $300,000 for this place. They had it listed for 340, but because I came with no realtor and uh, I told them I'm buying it as is, where is, uh, they agreed to knock it down by 40,000. I think I got a smoking deal. Also, I went with a USDA loan. I think I'm paying something like 2.25 for 30 years. I mean, that's, that's unheard of. I think my bills are gonna be like 1,800 bucks a month. And all that money that I saved by not living in an apartment, now I get to dump it into this house and I'm so excited for that. So let's go inside, let's see what's happening. But before we do that, this, I think this is the, my favorite part, is when I get to do this. You see these apps? I never wanna see them again. I am done. Peace out. That's it, much better. All right, let's go inside. Here we go. I already got some furniture. Here we are, boys and girls. This is the entryway. Got a hallway there. This is gonna be my office eventually, one day. We got the master bedroom this way. We're just gonna walk these rooms real quick. We got a little chill spot here. We got a little prayer room, you know, or some people might call it a closet. Then here we have the master bathroom. It all looks like it was built in 1995. That's all I could say. We got terrible floors, carpets, nasty. Everything's disgusting in here. This is all what's going on in here. We're going to talk about that here in a second. But this, if you could look right there, this is right where the chimney's at. And it's still leaking. I don't know if this thing's going to focus or not. No, it doesn't want to. That light is fighting against it. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's definitely leaking. Also, when they were putting in the roof, we got a whole bunch of cracks all over in every single section. Like, look at this. All that needs to be replaced or repaired. 
Look at this. Oh, also, every single window needs to be replaced as well. This is all metal. So, yeah, that's not fun. The condensation and letting the hot air than the cold air in all the time. Yeah, it sucks. The kitchen here is absolutely atrocious. This is actually the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to be demolishing this entire kitchen, and I'll talk about that here in a second. Here we have a walkway. We got two bedrooms, and we got pee stains everywhere. Bedroom number one bathroom we are not going to be touching the bathrooms until until a couple months at least here's the last bedroom so it's a three bedroom yep three bedroom two bath we got the laundry room here we got the garage and we're gonna go up there here in a second but check this out I don't need to buy myself some uh, workout equipment. I already got it. You know, the perks of buying a house. You just, you know, you just got to look at the bright side of things. Oh, yeah, AC's working. We're 73 degrees. Um, here, we got wallpaper. That's absolutely disgusting. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, what we're going to do here. Here, we got this little deal going on. Outside looks very, very pretty. But this wallpaper is disgusting. So... The first thing that we're going to attack, boys, is this kitchen. This needs to be destroyed. Everything. We're taking everything out. I'm going to be saving the cabinets for now. We're going to see what we're, what we're going to do. But this ceiling here needs to be raised four feet that way. So we'll be 14 feet all around. So see that? Come on, camera. So four feet. We got to go up. That is the goal. That's the first step we're going to do. We're going to be redoing all these floors. All these carpet needs to be ripped out. Let's go up top to, to the attic, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, how we are going to move this kitchen ceiling. All right. Bam, let there be light. Look at this old school fan. Let's see if it works. Hey, buddy. Nice. All right, here we are. So much room for activities. All right. So this is the game plan for the ceiling in the kitchen. Ow, son of a... Ah. Yeah, I just nailed my head. See the things I do for you guys? So this is the kitchen here. This is the kitchen area. We need to raise this ceiling up to this point here. We got joists that are supporting the roof that we need to adjust. And uh, yeah, this, th this is gonna be a lot of fun, but that's gonna be in, in uh, the next episode, I believe. Right now, we're just kinda going over all these little things. I wonder what I'm gonna do here. This looks like a like a chill spot. What the heck? What the hell is that? Oh, that's nasty. Is that raccoons? Ah, oh. something's getting in here and laying fat turds. That is nasty. All right. Let's keep our head low. Yeah, so Stanley, the framer, he told me it is good to go. We will be able to raise that ceiling, so I'm totally excited for it. I don't know about you guys, but we're gonna completely transform this and it's gonna look beautiful. Let me know what you think. I really like reading your comments sometimes. Sometimes. We will also be removing this entryway completely. It looks uh, kind of jank and old school. So, and it kind of ruins the feng shui, you know what I'm saying? The floors here are going to be that engineered vinyl. It's going to be really good for the kids running around. If they spill anything, not going to worry about it. We're going to have vinyl windows with the black trim. It's going to be looking really good. Also, this fireplace is going to be redone. Uh, be putting uh, probably black 
marble or black tile here and on top of the mantle we're gonna go with granite as well it's gonna look really really good all right boys this is the first video of many more to come on this series thank you so much for watching liking commenting and sharing i will see you in the next one peace out mm -hmm.